Whoa, what happened here? I don't understand how this happened so quickly. I mean, how long were we gone? There it is. I don't know what's worse. The fact that we missed Spirit Stalkers Calm 2009 by 72 years, or that somehow we missed some sort of apocalyptic battle that made everything all gray and brown. I say we forget about Spirit Stalkers Calm. It looks like they're doing just fine without us. Did you hear that? Oh no! No, not again. Zombies. Zip. Ah! Zombie! Oh, it's hideous. Wait! You look familiar. You look familiar too. I don't believe we've met. My name's Bruce. My name's Prickly Pete. Prickly Beep. No. Our savior. What? Prickly Pete, I did not know you would return this soon. Please forgive my rudeness. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Savior? There isn't much time. Please, follow me. The other who want to meet you. Prickly Pete, what's going on? For once, I don't really know. We've got to find out why that guy looks like you. Oh my god. What is this place? Everyone, look! Prickly Pete has returned! Doom, doom, doom. I don't like the looks of this. The prophecy has come true! Our savior's- Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. Z, 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 z. Uh, yeah. No. We don't want to hear that. Why does everybody look like me? I can answer that. Prickly Pete, is it? Yes, I don't believe we've met. On the contrary, I do believe we've met. No! I am Dr. Richard Dick Chumpy B B B B Beerbutt's PhD. What? Yes, forgive my fellow Pricklyans. They seem to believe the human being here is a fulfillment of some 72 year old prophecy. Even though I am a doctor of science and things, I must confess, I have to believe it. What about the- All your questions will be answered in this hilarious slideshow! Hooray! Zoop zoop zoop, a start in the show! Zoop zoop zoop! You see, Prickly Pete, 72 years ago you were supposed to attend Spirit Stalkers Con 2009! Don't rub it in! Your goal, along with your friends, was to expose the spirit stalkers for what they really were. Boring? Unimaginative? Formulaic? Uh, blueberry pie? Wait, what were we talking about? Peach! Cherry! No! Deep inside their human exteriors lived fire-breathing... Dragons? Trolls? Marshmallows? No. Are you all really this stupid? Fire breathing demons bent on world domination through TV ratings. It's complicated. As you set off on your journey, you are unaware that the spirit stalkers and the whole paranormal community were after you. You are a threat. Refreshing, hilarious, insightful, genuine. These are all things that reality TV hates. But there was another reason one that could truly unlock the horrors that live beneath the earth the book. Precisely. 
Prickly Peep was the key to opening an ancient book written by ghosts themselves that could give the spirit stalkers unlimited power to have their show and all its spin-offs dominate the airwaves for years to come. I give them the power of levitation. We know all that already. How come everybody looks like me? Yeah, didn't you used to be a human? Yes, we all do. You see, Spirit Stalkers Con 2009 was to be held at the Spinach Dandelion House, the final resting place of the book. No! No! Indeed! But when you three didn't show up, the Spirit Stalkers went mad. They launched a nationwide search for you, and when they came up empty, they began to use harsher methods. Originally, a sample of Prickly Peak was extracted by Phil and Colenbrunch in order to fend off the Spirit Stalkers from becoming Prickly Peaks themselves. You see, Prickly Pete is so cute, he infects everyone around him. Some people are immune to his charm. Others are not so lucky. Instead of curing themselves with the sample, they used it to turn everyone into Prickly Peets, hoping one day that they could turn us into the perfect Prickly Pete and use us to open the book. When this failed, they grew impatient and decided if they couldn't control the world, no one could. All that's left of the human race are now forced to go to Spirit Stalker's Con every day for all eternity. The rest of us, the Resistance, now live in packs all across the world, hoping that one day, Prickly Pete will come back and set us free. So this is all my fault? Wait a second. You can't blame Prickly Pete. He didn't know. None of us knew. Regardless, Prickly Pete is our only hope. You know, when we set out on this somewhat comical adventure, I didn't think that it would ever be this complicated. Or epic. And cut. Did we get that? Get what? Uh... Hey! Wah! Well, what can we do to help? There are two things you can do. You can find the book. It has the power to cure all of us and return you to your own time. Or... Somehow find Field and Colbert and get him to make a cure. What was the first one again? Uh... We'll just get the book. Good. Please let me know when you are ready to leave. I have something for all of you. Zip. Mr. P? Mr. P? Mr. P? I made this for you.